Two hostages are alive and unharmed, and a suspect is dead after a police shooting and a SWAT standoff in East Austin. Police say this started about five hours ago on Roggy Lane. Officers got a call about a car that crashed into a home. Minutes later, police say another call came in from a woman who said someone broke into her house. Police say that the man involved took two people in the home hostage. Cake Sands Jennifer Sanders walks us through what happened. Jennifer. Well, Chief Manley says when officers responded to that home where that burglary was reported, they heard screams and then disturbances coming from inside. Now, officers forced their way inside the home, and that's when Chief Manley says they saw the suspect and the suspect shot at them. One officer shot back. Police still don't know, though, if the suspect was hit at that time. Now, officers then called for backup and SWAT since the woman and the 10-year-old child were inside. SWAT arrived and tried to make contact with the suspect, asking him to pick Put down his weapons. At one point, police say the door of the home actually opened and officers could see the child waving for them to come inside the home, saying there was no one inside with him. Moments later, though, officers say they saw the suspect close the door, so police believe that was just an attempt to lure them inside. It was about 6.30 tonight when police say they saw the suspect open the door, holding the child, and that's when the suspect was shot. He was holding the child in what was described as somewhat of a hostage position in front of him. One of our SWAT officers fired on the suspect at that moment, striking the suspect. The suspect was fatally wounded by that shot. Now, again, the hostages were not hurt in this situation. One officer received a minor injury. That was not from gunfire. Police believe it was from wood or glass. Police say the victims did not know the suspect, and they believe he was a 21-year-old man. Live in Austin tonight, Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Chief Manley says that there are several investigations going on at this time. The two officers who fired their weapons have been placed on administrative leave.